So I finally became one of the 400 current Google Associate Android developers worldwide. Okay, jokes aside, let me explain you what this is all about. Associate Android Developer is a certification that certifies that I have the current industry level skills required to be an Android app developer. Please note that this is not any random certification on Coursera or something backed by Google which you can just watch the videos for and pass the quiz to get the certification. It is a legit practical examination where you solve tasks in a real application, give an interview to get the certification. This video is all about my background in getting the certification, exam logistics and some FAQs around the examination. So let's jump right into it. Those who know me from long, they know that I have been developing Android applications since grade 8. And I have done a lot of open source projects and written a ton of articles on Android development at genxblog.com. The only catch here is I don't have any actual industry level experience with Android development. I mean, I do have a lot of open source experience, but I have never yet worked with any project that implements the current standards in the industry. So that's where I felt I should try giving this examination to simulate working on a real project because this would validate my skills as an Android developer. Now let's get to the exam procedures. So the first thing is registration. To register for the examination, you first need to verify your identity by providing a government issued ID. Uh, so you should do that before paying for the examination because that process takes up few hours. The fees for registering for the examination is 6500 Indian rupees, but outside it's about 149 US dollars. But the fees are specific for different countries, so you have to check the Google website for that. The exam basically tests your skills on five areas of Android development, that is Android core, user interface, debugging, testing, and data management. These are basically the core components of an Android application, which you need to be knowing to give this examination. If you want to get the detailed breakdown of the exam content, you can check out the link in the description where Google has provided the official study guide and resources to prepare for the examination. Now for the actual examination, Google tries to create this environment where a programmer has already been working with the company to create an application and for some reason he has to leave the company and you are hired to complete the application he's been working on. In this scenario, you get a half-built Android application and you are given a complete description of what the application does and what are all the features the application should have and you are given a task list of about 7 to 10 tasks which you have to complete within the duration of 8 hours. The project auto submits itself once the time has gone, so you have to complete the task within time. You can also manually submit them if you have completed them before the time. Not being able to complete all the tasks in the project doesn't mean that you will fail the examination, at least that's what Google says. Well, the exam is neither too simple nor too hard. For me, effectively, I was able to complete the project within 4 to 5 hours, including the bugs and the time needed to analyze what's going on. But I actually submitted it just minutes before the deadline because I made sure that I am not missing on any tasks to do thorough testing of the features that I have implemented. Once you're done implementing the task, you can manually submit it or the project will auto submit itself after the 8 hours time limit. Uh, once that is done, you'll be asked to complete the exit interview within one week. The exit interview used to be on a Zoom call with a real person, but now they have started taking the interview on their platform. It is a mixture of multiple choice questions and there are some video questions as well. The questions are presented on the screen and you have about 2-3 to three minutes to answer them, either by recording your video or if it is a multiple choice question, you have to pick your answer. Okay, once you are done with the exit interview, you have successfully submitted your application. I received my result in about 15 days or about 2 weeks, but some people have reported getting the results in even 1 week or 3 weeks or more. So you have to wait up to 45 days to get uh, status on your application. Once your submission has been evaluated, you will be notified via email and if you pass the minimum criteria to pass the Google certification, you will be receiving your certification within the next week. The certification is valid up to a period of 3 years, after which you can choose to uh, renew it by retaking the exam. But in my opinion, you should not take the examination again because there's no point in taking a certification which you have already cleared in the past and within the next 3 years, you will be acquiring a lot more skills that will be a lot more meaningful to you. Now there are some frequently asked questions about the certification, I'll answer them right now. The first question is, am I allowed to use the internet during the exam? Google states that as a developer, you are bound to make mistakes and run into errors and that is perfectly okay. Because of this, Google allows you to look through the documentations and resolve your errors as you encounter them. But make sure that you do not copy paste code from the internet because that is not going to help you anyways. You need to have a good understanding of what's going on in the project to be able to write efficient code. Plagiarism is prohibited and also you are not allowed to uh, get external help from another person. A common question among people regarding this uh, certification is, can you get a job with this certification or not? 
Google does not guarantee that you will get a job based on this certification alone, but sure it puts a good impact on your resume. I have talked with other associate developers and I have found that most of them have benefited from getting this certification. And of course the feeling of being one of the few hundred Google associate developers is great if you are starting out with Android or want some validation on your skills. And finally the biggest question that people ask is is this certification worth it or not? I have already answered some part of it. If you are an Android developer with 1 to 2 years of experience whereby you have worked with Android technologies almost every single day at your job, then I don't recommend you to give the certification because it will probably not be worth it. But if you are like me having done open source projects and done some contributions to the Android community but with no industry level experience, then this is probably a good chance to validate your skills and get recognized for your work. For me a part of the reason was I am still 16 years old and some people just don't believe in my skills as an android developer so this certification has definitely helped me validating my skills. And at the very least it's just all about your opinion on giving this examination or not. So this was it about the google associate android developer certification. I hope you enjoyed the video and my experiences on getting the certification. If you are interested in uh, learning more I have left all the relevant links in the description of this video. Do let me know about your views uh, in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want a full course to crack the certification exam yourself. Thank you.